Hey, what's up, Warriors? So I want to give you a quick walkthrough. It's going to take me about five minutes or less to go ahead and create a professional contract. So I've gone ahead and uploaded the plugin already and activated it. So let's go ahead and get started. You should see an extra option here to the left, WP Contract Pages. Let's start there. We just simply have to agree to the terms and then accept. And then here's our general settings. Now this is super easy. Um, as you can see, my, my cookie already grabbed it and filled it all out. We've got the name of the agreement. We've got the person or the entity, the domain name, the person, their title, email address, address, and then phone number. Okay, then you would save that information. PDF settings. Um, when you are done with this and it's all filled out, you can download the PDF version of this to store for your records, to print out if you wanted somebody to sign it in front of you, um, or to digitally store for your records again. So um, we can change the fonts up. We can change the uh, the header. Let's say we wanted to do 18 here. Um, footer, let's say we want 12. And then font size overall, uh, 14. And then update changes and that's good next we're gonna go and we're gonna edit the templates um, think of it this way you've got the top and the bottom think of that like the the two parts of a bun to a sandwich so we've got the top bun the bottom bun and then we've got all the ingredients in the middle right and that is our five core contracts so these are gonna fit in between a generic top and bottom that helps seal this contract okay so each one we can edit and we need to so what we need to do is we need to start with the uh, the top is already handled because we just filled that out. We need to fill in, let's say we wanted to do um, PPC services. Let's grab that one. And then um, if you're confused with what it is that should go here, you just hover over the question mark. So let's say you know it was uh, revenue we were increasing, optimizing current PPC campaign, one-time setup fee of let's say we wanted 500 and then monthly maintenance fee of a thousand you'd fill that in and then payment structure that's basically broken down like this so the monthly fee let's say is uh... excuse me one thousand total months let's say twelve and uh... again monthly fee we're just gonna fill that in again it's a redundancy additional works um, let's just say maybe we're gonna optimize current landing page five keywords and then save now I'm going through this quite quick but you can definitely go through it a lot slower and fill that in and then let's say we wanted to do social media um, you'll see because of cookie this is already filled in but basically I just picked a checkbox here at the top um, number of accounts to be created uh, maintain the account on at least post how many po or post to how many social media accounts per day how many posts posting period, um, number of third-party sites to be indexed, and then we would save that. Now, the another crucial part, after we're done with the uh, services that we've edited, we have to edit the bottom. So go to that. Let's click on Edit. And these are the terms. Again, my cookie naturally filled this out, but what you're looking at is this is the payment stuff. So you want to make sure that you're filling this out. Again, we've got these little hoverovers in case you need them. Payment within 30 days. Um, Company uh, with a valid credit card, uh, payable to you know Jameson Brandon, um, payment via PayPal, and then here's the termination policy if you've got one at all. Again, um, number of days before termination, ten time frame days, uh, weeks or months is it measured in, and then governed in the state laws of whatever state, and then you would save that. So now we've got the top settings. We've uh, done the PPC and social media, and then we've created the, or we've edited down the, the bottom. So now what we can do is we can actually go and create a page. So go on over to create a page now, and let's just add SEO, let's add social media, and let's add bottom. So now let's take a look. The top piece of this was everything all the way down to number two. And then description of services is where our pieces of the sandwich started. SEO and then social media. So here's SEO and then here's social media all the short codes are gonna be filled in naturally with what we've put in there okay or excuse me actually we didn't do SEO we did PPC so let me reset this let's do PPC 
and then bottom. You see, you can just simply hit the reset and you start over. So um, it was PPC. Yeah, you see, we should have all of our uh, fields, um, form fields filled in at this point. So 30 days was our payment. Um, we need social media in there too. Um, so optimize current landing page. That was another option you saw me set. And then um, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just go ahead and reset one last time. PPC, social media, bottom. There it is. PPC services. Then we got social media. You saw me fill in all this. 100,000. This is a service. I just put that in so you could see it stand out. And then the bottom is important because that's the payment stuff. So you saw me fill in within 30 days. Um, you know, Jameson Brandon, who paid out via PayPal. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the bottom bit of it. Like I said, completing the sandwich. Okay. So we just click on publish. And now we've created the page. So let's view it. I've got the stock theme uploaded. So you'll see everything, business agreement one, everything is filled out how I set it in the back. So 1,000, so all those short codes just simply swapped out for what we want. And now we have a completed contract. So here's the cool thing. Um, this is the client's information at the bottom. They fill in name, address, phone number, email, title, and then they click on I accept the terms of this agreement. That automatically prompts the PDF download. So you instantly get a pop-up to download the PDF. So the really cool thing about this is there's several ways to use this. Obviously, we can download this PDF and we could just instantly attach it to an email and have them sign it and uh, send it back. If we're in front of them, we could have it. Um, we could print it off and then we could have them sign it. We each get a copy of it and then we go our separate ways. Um, we could upload it to a third-party site like DocuSign or EchoSign and then have them sign it securely. It really doesn't matter what you're going to do with this thing. You now have a professional contract that is created within minutes and you can get it in front of your new client within a matter of minutes. So continue to scroll down the sales page and check out everything else that you're getting with this awesome WSO. Thank you so much for checking it out and we'll see you on the inside.